the worst cheaters ever. My boyfriend just left me on the side of Broadway because I was cheating on him. What's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And let's show some more clips of the craziest couples I can find. Now, look, because my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, this man over here is actually spying on his girlfriend through her location. And I guess he ends up finding out she is with another woman. Now, typically, I guess this looks normal without even realizing he is getting cheated on by another woman. The ending is absolutely brutal. There she go. Look. And she got her jacket on. What the fuck? She put Where her jacket she? on. And she got her... F what the... Who the f Who is that? See, I told you this bitch is cheater. We can't be right behind her. No, like, I'm not. I'm behind her. I don't do know, you know who in that car, bro. Don't get mad, bro. You don't know who this is? You don't get... You don't know yet, bro. Let's keep following her. Let's keep following her. Let's keep following her. Like, she really holding hands with... She, then, she ain't even cheating on you with a nigga. She cheating on you with a bitch. Okay, I wanted oh, to make my own. Oh, Shanice. <laughs> somewhere and beat your meat and this next one is definitely one way to catch your daughters doing something crazy basically i guess they were saying they're gonna go out to some party and he's not allowed to go because i guess it's gonna be too packed and he's not gonna be able to get in but let's just say he definitely finds his way where you looking for what we outside <laughs> it's monday yeah yeah so what's there we're outside on monday i could be outside on monday too okay okay you're outside Shall come? Shall come? Um, you can get you in yeah, I think it's like you got a wristband. You got a wristband. Can't get in. I can't get in yet. I can't get in. Now after this part, he ends up getting inside the party, and this is what he ends up finding. I rush the doors. I'm gonna find my door in it. Found them. Girls, what are we doing tonight? We outside, huh? What are we doing? All right, try me. Gotcha. Can you say mama, mama? Can you say mama's name? Dada. Dada. And this last clip it is definitely insane as well. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like this guy is actually getting flirted on by another woman who is apparently married. Let me know if I'm wrong, or let me know if you guys know the full story. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. And this next one, this woman apparently got dumped by a guy because he actually had boundaries and rules he stuck by due to the fact that he didn't like that this woman was having a guy best friend that she ended up hanging out with all the time. Finally, a guy who actually puts his foot down and this woman, to be honest, still respects him for it, but she doesn't see or think she's in the wrong at all. When in reality, every single guy in his position would probably done the exact same thing. I got broken up with because I posted this video on my story. <laughs> Okay, broken up with is dramatic as I was only talking to him for three weeks and we went on one date. But after I posted that story, he was so annoyed with me. He basically told me that he doesn't do guy best friends um, with the girls that he's speaking to. And if he's pursuing someone, he just doesn't really respect the fact that I'm, you know, I have a male in my life that I love real bad. Now, some of you may be as confused as me because this is literally my best friend of six years. He's like my brother at this point and I would never even look at him a certain way. But this guy was serious and he was not letting up on this boundary that he had placed. So the only thing I could do was respect it. I explained to him what the situation was, that it was not like that, but he wasn't hearing it. So he cut me off. So now I'm just sitting here like, damn, was it really that deep? She's sitting on my car. And this next one, once again, a man with boundaries and rules he stuck by. He thought this woman was cheating on him, and this is what he decided to do. Yo, my boyfriend just left me on the side of Broadway because I was cheating on him. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. 
<laughs> Mr. Blair. And this next one, I guess, is a girl swiping through Tinder. And this goes to show how high expectations women have when, I guess, going on dating apps. It's super rare for them to swipe right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yo, give him a chance. <laughs> give him a chance. Oh, oh, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Work here? Yeah. Here you go. It's for the gender pay gap. Sure. Trying to level okay. things out. And this sex, we have a woman over here, I guess, brainwashing her 13 year old niece into thinking all men are trash when in reality, this is what she does and she deserves every single bit of it. All men are. So you're telling your 13 year old niece that all men are awful? Well, are you also gonna tell her how you prioritize F boys over handsome, loyal men? And while you're at it, you might as well show her the website you use where all these supposed awful men are putting money in your pocket. You know, maybe instead, you should be teaching your 13 year old niece that the choices you've made in your own life were awful. Damn, bro. That's tough. Before you cheat, my brother, she has already cheated. And this next one, you have this woman over here who is super cocky, thinking that just because she has insane materialistic objects, she is worth more than any other person around her. Thankfully, this man that are ripping her at the end of the clip. You look very nice today. Thank I just you. wanted to tell you. you. I typically do. It's worth more than you can comprehend. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Uh, so we have 50000 here. We got twenty five k here. I mean, this purse is one of a kind. I don't think it's even sold in mass. Pants are about 10 grand. The boots are 12. Yeah. What are yours? I don't know. How much is your hair? Oh! Got him. I'm gonna try the kombucha. And this is actually this man decides to ask all these women a very simple question. And to be honest, it seems like it's easy to answer, right? Basically, they were just asked. They can have the perfect dream guy as long as they give up partying. And sadly, this was their answer. And that's so you know they're just for the street. You were starting to talk to a guy. You were angling for a serious committed relationship with him. And he said, I'm willing to be monogamous with you, but you cannot party anymore. Do you pick the guy or do you pick the party? You, like... Honestly, like he should just like let me do my own thing, but also like no, like I'm not going to hook up with other people. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> like there's that level of trust. You said in your last relationship you were cheated on, correct? Yes. Do you know the context of how you were cheated on? Did it, yes. was did he cheat on you at a party? Did yes. He, meet the girl at, <laughs> he met the girl at a party. Yeah. And this sex was guy's an absolute idiot ended up getting a tattoo of his girlfriend's eyes on his arm. What if she cheats on you? Like, come on now. So, Pink, Here. guess who I am? Uh, watch, watch. In this next one, we have this woman over here. I guess it's her birthday, and this ended up happening. This man saved her life, but she kind of still blamed him for it. Why my cousin hair caught fire at Friday's? Happy birthday to. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Happy birthday. Well, he just touched me. I beg your pardon? Yeah, your hair was on fire. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Oh my god. And this next one is absolutely materialistic. She is saying she needs a guy who makes a lot of money because she cannot live without her materialistic objects like her purses, her Chanel bag, whatever it may be. If you can't live without those things, then she is going to dump you if things ever go bad with you. That is not a wife. She's the same as a street worker in my opinion. Marry me if I'm alive. You'll be happy here. How much does he need to make? <laughs> <laughs> you know what a lot i mean i don't want to say like it's a number attached to it because i go with how people make me feel but i'm not gonna get on here and lie and be like oh my god i want to date a guy that makes less money than me like no i don't like i love chanel like i love to travel i am very luxury i work hard so i can have a luxury life and I, we only upgrading so i mean i'm not gonna put a number on you but like baby i don't want to ever be told no <laughs> hey bro come on now dog and this next one i absolutely love this woman we see a bunch of clips with her absolutely lying on social media like she gets a bunch of guys but in reality everybody just doesn't believe her at this point one time i matched with a guy on bumble he was in a suit he looked really presentable very cute he took me out to dinner we really connected i even made out with him i just thought he was so cute he ghosted me and rejected 
What did you think the first time you saw me? Like the first time you laid eyes on me, we spoke. What did you think? What was going through your mind? You have really thin ears that look like they're made out of tissue paper. And this next one is very correlated to the last clip. This guy is going on to detail about catfishing and how it sucks absolutely to get catfished by, by women. It's a serious thing that women just don't understand. Like, why are you going to make yourself look so much better on social media when in person you look so ugly? Like, do you expect us never to see you? If you go on dates with women, the catfishing is wild. Go out with a girl and she looks like absolutely nothing like her photos. It's not just the face, it's the whole body. I've seen it just many times. <laughs> yes. A girl will suddenly put on like two. How often is happening? It's happened a lot to me. Yeah, no, actually I have four kids. Damn! I'm sorry. And this next one is man that ended up catching his wife doing something with another thing. I don't want to say what it is, but this is 100% cheating in my eyes. And yes, they should break up. Caught my girl cheating. <laughs> Babe! You cheat on me with a dude? Disappointing. Cheat on me with a girl? Hmm. What a dog? Really? What a dog? Babe, the dude's over there. Okay. What? Now, to lighten the mood even more, I guess there's this guy. He ends up trying to prank his girlfriend with, I guess, this fake doll. Seems like he's trying to sleep with her and cheat on her. And this is what the girlfriend did. I expected something way worse. <laughs> I like when you look at me like that. <laughs> so cute, girl. Oh my god. Especially from down here, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Are you? Huh? Really? Oh. Are you serious hey, right wait, now? No, no, no. It's not what it looks like. It's exactly no, what it looks like. No, no, it's actually not what it looks like. Yo, yo, it's a prank. Women will never understand how it feels like to not know whether a child is theirs or not. So, honestly, I think paternity tests should just be mandatory. And this sexist woman asked these women a very simple question. Has feminism got too far? And well, this was their response. Do you think feminism has gone too far? <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, I don't. Next. Next question. <laughs> Now, not only did she just ask that one group of girls, she ended up asking multiple, and well, this was all their responses, nothing. Hi. Yup. <laughs> yup. Never. No. No. That's a loaded question, but <laughs> ultimately, no. So in what ways are women still fighting for equality? Oh, oh, oh every, oh my god. Um, at work all the time like i probably get i know my like old manager got paid less oh shit here we go again than one of the other guys people just don't want to talk to women i Especially swear in their specialty they're like um can i talk to a man and they're like no well, i'm talking to you guys <laughs> <laughs> Every single way possible. And this next one, this man is definitely starving. This clip is just absolutely wild. See that shit? Go ahead, sit down. Don't scare me. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! I did not mean to put my face there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You don't go back. I'm so sorry. I to tell you that you, your purse is on top of your car. Okay. And this is excellent. I would absolutely stop talking to my female best friend if she ever said this about me. This is what I mean by you guys should never be in a friend zone. If a girl friend zones you, she will treat you like this in her head and you'll never get any respect. Are you guys siblings or dating? My best friends. Okay, perfect. I'll give you $10,000 right now on the spot if you guys kiss. No, no. Why not? Bro, he plays video games all day. It's so unattractive. No. Damn, it's like that? Why do you play video games all day? The same reason why you put on makeup every day. To escape reality. <laughs> Name five books. I don't know. You. Name don't five know. books. Name five, five books. books. Okay. Magic by Manny P. Hall. Morals and Dogma by Albert Pike. Harry Potter. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, Lord of the Flies and uh, and Catcher in the Rye. You Harry got this. <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. And this next one, I guess this man is going through his finances and realizes that his girl is going to target way too many times. Let me know if this is a red flag for you. In my opinion, it is. It just goes to show that your girl doesn't respect how much money you make or how where the money is even going. We got a target on June 27th, another target run on June 27th, target run on June 24th, June 21st, uh, basically every other day we're going to target. We need to figure out what's causing us. Oh, oh my gosh. I, f I forgot. 
I left you here. I'm so sorry. Um, you didn't see that, did you? Well, that's it for you guys so much for watching. Guys, in the next one, take care. Peace.